So we have created a really good spreadsheet. Uh, and what the spreadsheet does is it allows us uh, to make changes to our event uh, and see exactly what the outcome is. So at the moment, for example, if I were to change my ticket price, in case at the moment we have a ticket price of three pounds. Okay, let's change that to 10 pounds. Um, now, as you can see, I would actually be making a £23,000 loss. Uh, that's bearing in mind it's affected uh, the number of people I have coming to the event. So I, I'm actually purchasing less food items. My food and drink expenditure is only actually £125 now, um, whereas where it was £3 earlier on, uh, I'm spending a lot more on food and drink. So what we've got is we've got a spreadsheet which works really well. One thing uh, affects the other. Um, and at the end of the day, it all comes back uh, and we can look at our maximum capacity if we can uh, take the visitors that we, we have coming in. Uh, it would affect the income as well as expenditure, as well as my total profit loss and whether I'm making a profit or loss. Um, however, uh, if I was to go ahead and make a change to some advertising, let's say, uh, now what I will need to do is I will need to pop back over to my summary and see exactly what the situation is. Uh, what we will be doing today, we will actually put these tables, uh, these tables at the top of each and every uh, worksheet. And that way, what we have is we can make a change on a particular worksheet and that would, uh, we can see straight away exactly what the effect is. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to think about how many rows and columns this is going to take up. Uh, obviously, we want to try and compress this as much as we can. Uh, so what I will be doing is uh, I'm going to very quickly count this. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I've got 13 uh, cells that this would be taking up in terms of uh, in terms of rows. Uh, we can need to think about, is there any way I can sort of reduce that? Taking up 13 rows would take up this much, that bit, meaning that we only have this much space to, to see exactly everything else that's going on in our spreadsheet. Now, that will still work. Our spreadsheet's not too big. Uh, and this itself can be hidden or pushed to the side. That's not a problem. Um, but ideally, we should think about exactly how we can um, reduce that. So I'm going to actually push all of this down slightly. So let's insert a few rows above. Uh, and I'm actually going to turn this income and expenditure. So what I'm actually doing is I'm transposing uh, my table. Okay, and what that means is that I'm actually going to turn it around. Um, so I've got food, drink, attractions. So let's copy that. Let's paste that over here. In fact, uh, I'm going to paste transpose, and that's done it like that for me. So food and drink, attractions, tickets, advertising, venue. Uh, I don't really need anything else there. In fact, and let's have my total. Okay, so I've got my two tables there. Uh, I will also add another total profit loss and that could come underneath there. Okay, and what I can also do is I can copy and paste this. Copy, right click, paste special, paste transpose. So whoop, that's not too great. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually whoop, going to unmerge, unmerge. Unmerge. Unmerge, unmerge, unmerge. So I've got some stuff going on there as well for some reason. Okay, let's make this look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to get rid of these borders firstly. 
your borders. Let's get rid of the colors here. Uh, let's make a pinkish color. Let's make that a greeny color. Let's add some borders around this as well. And let's make that a nice yellowy color. Okay, so we're just there we go. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to simply reference uh, the various cells. So equals food and drink. Ooh, in fact, what I have done is I've made a mistake. I've made my income uh, and my expenditure the wrong color. So let's just swap them around. Expenditure. And income, otherwise that can obviously get very confusing. So my expenditure equals this. Tractions equals air. Tickets equals air. Advertising equals air. Revenue. Air. Total. Air. In fact, let's make that one slightly darker pink. Let's make that one slightly darker green as well. And again, reference these as they should be. Okay, now the only issue we have at the moment, uh, or one of the issues, so we can play around with uh, the colors of these as well. Uh, in fact, let's add a border around these. We'll also add a border around these. Uh, we can change the color of these as well, so let's make them also. Um, let's make them light blue. Uh, and we'll leave that the way it is. Uh, now, what we want to do is we want to also actually bring uh, the conditional formatting to these two cells as well. Uh, so the easiest way to do that, uh, well, one way of doing that is to do that the same way we did this earlier on. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take this cell. I'm going to use something called a format painter. So I'm taking the format of this cell and I'm painting it onto this cell. Okay, and now because that was merged... That's why that has messed up slightly. So let's again format that. Okay, won't worry too much about the border, but let's format that one as well. And again, let's unmerge that. Okay, so there we go. Um, Okay, so now we've got that, what we're going to do is we are also going to bring this down here. So this is known as freezing pane. So as I scroll down, uh, you do usually have that in the view section as well, freeze panes. Uh, as I scroll down, that would stay locked. Now this is fine for this, but where we have a much larger spreadsheet, obviously that is quite handy there. Okay, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to simply take these, we're going to copy, we're going to head over to food, and we wanted one, two, three, four, and let's just do a fifth one, just for the sake of having a gap. Let's insert five above, and simply what we're going to do is let's firstly format paint all of that.
There we go. We can simply paste that over. Oops, I seem to have copied that. Let's try that again. Control C, hold food, control V. Okay, now as you can see, the issue we have is it's bought over the wrong cell. So we may need to do that again. That's not a problem. So let's do food and drink equals what I'm going to do is do it like so. And I'll simply drag that across, drag that down. In fact, let's just equals. Okay, let's change the color of that again. There we go. Okay, so what I'm doing is simply referencing it back to the summary worksheet. And in fact, what I should have also done before I actually copied and pasted it over, I should have also format painted the maximum capacity as well. So let's copy and paste that over. There we go. And we can also just select the whole worksheet, double click like so. And what that does is that does give us the relevant length. Okay. So now what I can do again, I can copy like so. Come over to attractions. Let's paste or let's insert another five rows. And let's, let's format paint that again. Okay, so for some reason, something I'm doing along those lines, it is losing what I've copied. There we go. Let's select the whole worksheet, change the size. Let's make that one a little bit smaller. There we go. So we could do that again, same for tickets, one, two, three, four, five. Insert five rows, paste, there we go. Let's remember to bring those freeze panes down as well. Let's also Okay, so once we've copied and pasted them all, let's just make sure that we have all our cells the size we want. Let's bring the freeze pane down. Again, advertising. Make sure, let's select the whole spreadsheet, worksheet, the size we want, and bring the freeze pane down. There we go. Now, the only problem we have at the moment is at uh, the ticket price, which we would need to come back to the summary to change. Um, there are ways of working around that. However, there's, I mean, it will be difficult to get it all relative to one another. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're just making it a little bit easier to use and we can see our decisions and the impact they have anywhere we go. Okay. So the moment I change, um, let's decide to uh, do some leaflet distribution as well. I can see straight away the impact that's had. Okay, so if you'd like to do that and submit that for me, please. Thank you.